2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. The, 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 the Bible you read out of, yes. is it the King James Version? That is the King James Version, 1611. You know King James was a tyrant? A what? He was a tyrant? Okay, talk to me. Like King James used to, used to have sex with his own family members in order to keep the family royal, mm -hmm. keep the bloodline in check. Wait, and what, what did you get that information? This is in history. What history? I did, I did a book report on that. Give me the I went straight to that school. He used to cut children's heads off. He used to go around taking taxes and food from his own people just to feed people at his own You family. know why that's not true? That is true. King James was the first king. Yeah, he had, hold 20, on there, hold on, brother. He hold had on. 20 scholars rewrite the Bible. No, they didn't rewrite the Bible. We're going to get that. They didn't rewrite the Bible. See, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes us, what did they say? What's the stipulation? To hide something from the black men, where do you put it? In a book. In a book. Because we refuse to read. You understand what I'm saying? You hear my brother? My brother. The Hispanic man refused to read. The black man refused to read. Because they said to hide something from you, they must put it in the book because we're not right up here. You hear me? I want you to sit here and listen good. Come on. King James was literally a tyrant. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Because remember, King James was the one that organized the, the uh, help me out here. No, the three uh, country combined the three countries together. So how was he forceful? No, come on, brother. No. But remember, remember that, you have to remember the nature of kings back then. You have to remember that. The nature what, what, of kings? Kings back then. Let the me ask you a question. What was, what was King James' mother? God, what was her name? Jesus, uh, Mary, right? Mary. Okay, what happened to Mary? If you remember the history, what happened to King James' mother? I'll help you out. You, you, might, you might forget. Yeah, I think I forgot. Yeah, you forgot. King James' mother was beheaded by Elizabeth, which is her cousin, right. and right. she was the queen of England right. at that time. Right. Right. Who was me? King James' wife? No. Huh? <laughs> no. King James' on, wife. No. They kept it in the family. I'm no, brother. No, 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 brother, brother. Remember, at that point, King, uh, Queen Elizabeth, she was already getting on, on in, in age. She was already getting old. Her, his mother got killed. They were enemy. Scotland. She was. He. He was. He became the king of Scotland because he inherited the kingdom from the mother because the mother passed now. You understand what I'm saying? Do you hear me, my brother? Okay, very good. Because we can dial because you have a little bit of history, right? Very good. Now, watch this. The sound of it. No, hold on. So now, remember there was England, there was Scotland, there was Ireland, right? So he bring those three countries together because the what? United, United Kingdom. He started United Kingdom. And King James was a black man with nine children. Right. Nine children, he was a black man. The kingdom that you're referring to is a so-called white man. They always trying to paint our great, great, great father to a white man. He was. He was a white man. No, he was not a white man. King James was not a white man. He was not a white man. He was a black man. You understand what I'm saying to you? Now watch this. Do what you got. Now, because we watch on TV that the white man portrayed himself to be the great father. That's what I'm saying. They wrote those things. To turn your head around. Exactly. Do that. I'm gonna show you that. Matter of fact, hold before that, give me that. I'm gonna show you why they do that. You know, We're gonna go to my to show you everything is important. The Bible is the true book. You everything is recorded in the Bible. Bible. I'm gonna show you what they did with King James. So it's Christ, so it's King Solomon. Every movie that you watch, what color do they portray those people to be? White, White people. Now watch this. Read that. The book of first is that news. That's old news. Come on. The book of 1st Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 48. Yes, sir. Come, come, come. And, and laid open the book of the law. 
We're in the heathen. Hex. Oh, he's showing the, the, the brother. You see that? That was a black man. He was never a white man. That's that's what I'm saying, my brother. So so you see what you see what I'm going with this? The white man, we have been bamboozled for so long. Now watch this. Let me what you got. And laid open the book of the law. Where are you reading from? First Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48. Come on. And laid open the book of the law. Mm -hmm. Wherein the heathen had sought, the heathen is the other nation, the so called white man, read on, had sought to paint the likeness of their image. You see that? Christ is a white man. King Solomon is a white man. King David is a white man. All the great men of the Bible, the white man portrayed them to be white. Right, 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 right. That's what you call the Renaissance, meaning we birth. Remember, they used to, we used to have what you call the Dark Ages, when our forefather, the dark skin brother, used to rule the world. So during that time, prior to that was King James. And then now we have the Renaissance, which means rebirth. The white men take back control. I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Remind me of Malachi. Come on. The Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary. Now, who wrote this thing? Was, was, I, the, was I the writer? Was he doing? I wrote it. We didn't write this. The white men write this. Oh, Read King James version. Uh huh. When Elizabeth the first, Elizabeth, when Elizabeth the first died in 1603, the crown passed to James the first. Wait a minute. I thought, I thought King James slept with Queen Elizabeth. Wait a minute. I thought, I thought King James slept. That's what I'm saying, my brother. We've been. I'm telling you, we, we have a great I, I was, misunderstanding. I, I went to Catholic school all my life. So, so did I. So did I, my brother. So did I. First communion, second communion, and confirmation. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? We've been lied to by Bimboozle. Now read it again, because remember, there were Elizabeth, the first, the second, and so forth and so on. Now they say, he slept with Queen Elizabeth, right? Now what is the, what is the, they say now? When Elizabeth died uh -huh. in 1603. In 1603, the crown passed to James the first. To James the first, which is King James. Who had been king of Scotland. Scotland, because his, his mother was the queen of Scotland. Remember Mary went to live in Ireland for a long time with the other family. Remember, remember um, Mary, she married the, uh, the other side. And then after a while, she transferred back to Scotland and to rebuild his people, I mean her people. And then she was killed supposedly for treason, for trying to kill Elizabeth. You remember that? Uh, what's, it, what's her name? What's his name? Uh, uh, I forgot the name of the. Uh, I forgot the name, but it was a misunderstanding. Not misunderstanding. It was a plot, a coup d'état. But they put it upon Mary. Supposedly, but Mary was never part of that situation. You hear me? Uh, oh, come on. You know. yeah, Who had been king of Scotland for uh -huh. 37 years. You, you hear that? He was king of Scotland for 37 years. As James VI. Come on. Several months after he ascended the throne of England, uh -huh. he authorized. No, no, no. He wrote. He authorized. No, he gave permission to rewrite. He authorized. The reason why he authorized because he had the authority as a king to authorize a book to translate from one language to another. It's just that simple. Read it again. He authorized Read on. a new translation. A new translation, that's what they call it, the New King James Version. He didn't rewrite nothing. Come on. A new translation Come of on. the Bible uh -huh. to replace the Bishop's Bible. Read on. 47 of the best. Hebrew and Greek scholars. It, it wasn't even him himself. He chose the best of the best. Hebrew what? Hebrew and Greek scholars. Why? Because it was from Greek to English. That's the reason when you read the King James Version, the English is very old. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Read on. The food is like die, the do, those type, of, those type of words. Read on. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars of the day Come on. were divided into six groups. Six groups? Three for the Old Testament, uh -huh. two for the New, and one for the Apocalypse. Wait a minute. Do you know about this book? That's my point. For you to hide something from the black man, you got to put in a book. They took out 14 books. That's what Paul was constantly took saying. Out 14 books? The uh, Catholic during the Christian time, right? right, right. Church. The Protestant church. You understand that? They took it out. Why? Because if you in Christianity, I used to be in Christianity, I used to be a pastor. 
They said between Malachi and Matthew, there's 400 years that God never speak with any prophet. No, we were in slavery 400 years in Greek. That's what Paul was always said. It was neither Jew nor Greek. You hear what I'm saying? That's why he had the word Grecian in the New Testament. Meanwhile, Paul was under the rulership of the Roman Empire. But that's why they call it the Greco Roman Empire. Because Greece come before Rome. You understand that, my brother? Okay, very good. You down on that? Come on, we do. That was it. Thank you very much. Now, watch this. I'm going to show you, we have lack of understanding. You understand what I'm saying? We have lack of understanding. Now, let me ask you this now, my brother. What's your nationality? What you mean, nationality? Yeah, what's your nationality? All I know is my mom Puerto Rican. Your mom Puerto Rican. What about your father? My father from Darlington, South Carolina. South Carolina. So he's a so-called black man, right? Right. Okay, so you will be, you will be, the that up soldier? The great, the great people that's going to rule the earth once Christ return, the black man return. So you will be from the tribe of Judah. Guess who also came from the tribe of Judah? The greatest man that ever walked the earth called Jesus the Christ, the black man. Yes, right. Right. He came from the same tribe as you. Right. Did you know that? That's how great you are. You don't know your greatness because we have been bamboozled by the white man for so long. You understand what I'm saying to you, my brother? Now watch this. Read that for me. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Uh-huh. For it is evident. It is, it is evident. Read. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. So that's where you're from. That's where your big brother from, Jesus the Christ. You hear what I'm saying? So now, how must you conduct yourself as a man? Give me First Kings chapter two. I'm broken right now. Man. So that's the reason why. No, let him cry. Let him cry. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. 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 Read it again. First Kings chapter two and nine. Now you say, what was your name, again, my brother? Saman. Saman. You say you're broken, but we all, all of us is broken. Now we made whole again. Why? Why? I, once upon a time, I was broken. Once upon a time, he was broken. So was him. So was him. Now we made whole again. How we become whole? Now watch this. Because King David, before he died, he did the exact same thing to make sure he mold King Solomon before he become king. Now watch this. How he become a man. Read that. First Kings chapter 2 and verse 2. Come verse on. 1. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. Come on. And he charged Solomon his son, saying, Come on. I go the way of all the earth. We done because he was teaching the word throughout the earth, right? We done. Be thou strong, therefore. You must be strong. We done. And show thyself a man. We done. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. How do you become a man? By keeping the charge of God. We done. To walk in his ways. To walk in his ways. To keep his statutes. To keep his statutes. And his commandments. And his commandments. And his judgments. Come on. And his testimonies. Come on. As it is written in the law of Moses. Come on. That thou mayest <laughs> prosper in all that thou doest. See that? That's how King Solomon become a man. Now in the time of the Maccabees, during the time of the Grecian, the Greek people, Right? When we was ruling them, what would what did we do? I'm gonna show you that again. Give me first Maccabees chapter 2, verse 50. How did they become men? I'm gonna show you what they did. Remember, King David passed the torch to Solomon to become a man, right? What did our forefather did during the time of the Grecian when we ruled the world in Greece? I'm gonna show you that. First came first. Maccabees 2 verse 50. First yeah. Maccabees chapter 2 verse 50. Come on. Now therefore my son. Now therefore my son. Is it son? My son. Sons. You hear me? We don't. Be ye zealous. For, Be ye zealous. For the law. For the law. The law. We don't. And give your life. We don't. For the covenant of your father. You hear that? Now watch this verse 64. Wherefore ye my son. Yeah, for ye my son again. Be valiant. Be what? Be valiant. You can't be a punk. We, you can't be, we can't be broke out here. That's why we come bold. We're not by ourselves out here. We have injury all around us. Right. Come on. And show yourselves men. What? And show yourselves men. No, boys. Men. America don't grow men. They grow boys here. Grown boys smoking weed, 40 years old, sagging their pants. 50 years old, not taking care of their responsibilities. Not taking care of the children, slapping their wives, slipping from women to women. Come on. And show yourselves men. Men. In the behalf of the law. Of the law. That's how you become man. 
by keeping the commandments. You understand what I'm saying, my brother? So that's what that's why you're broken because you're missing something. There's something missing. Now I show you the reason why you're broken. Give me uh, Job chapter 10, verse 20 and 21. Come on. How are we broke? How, how are we become broke? How do white men break us so easily, so bad? To a point where we have it's nothing but desolation. To a point where we have no spirit in us. Why? We don't. Go to the 10 verse 21. Be Before yeah. I go, whence I shall not That's return. That's our forefather Job. Couldn't put forth a prophecy that the most, the most I show him. We don't. Even to the land of darkness. America is the land of darkness. And the shadow of death. We don't. A land of darkness as darkness itself. There's no other country is worse in dark as America. They were the first one to pass the homosexuality gay, I mean, a uh, 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 law, the gay marriage. We don't. And of the shadow of death. Because what? When we was back in, the, in, in, uh, in um, New York, before it become uh, Wall Street, that was where they were selling niggas. You understand what I'm saying? The shadow of death, we don't. Without any order. Without any order. There's no order in America. America is lawless. There's no order here. We don't. And with a light is as darkness. Because they don't teach Christ was a black man. They teach a uh, white Jesus, Caesar Bourget, sons of Alexander, uh, Pope Alexander VI of Rome. They don't teach Christ was a black man from the tribe of Judah, from the house of Israel. They never teach that. We don't. That's it. Right? With that, brother, we're going to close. Our time's up. We come here every Friday. Come learn. You have the flyer. The uh, information is in the flyer, brother. If you feel you're really broken as a brother, come talk to your brother. Come be among your brother. Because your responsibility as a man is to teach the younger man to become a man. So we can get out of the boyish mentality that we are in. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what your job is. Hopefully we'll see you again. Watch online. And when you're ready, come to the school. Now you will see the treatment of God. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.